Hello everyone, and this is Inayat Mir with my DNS domain naming system related video. This is a part of automation of production environment. For example, uh, you have a lot of servers just migrated, but they have primary and secondary DNS IP address belongs to old domain. Now, the task is that you want to replace those DNS IP addresses with new DNS IP address. So those addresses must belong to the target domain environment. So this is a very, very lengthy job. You can spend hours to do that. So I put up a script together through PowerShell and I also have two test servers, MS4 and MS3A. So what I am going to do here, I will replace primary and DNS IP addresses of those two servers, assuming that we just migrated from source to target these two servers. So in addition, I will add a third IP address uh, for a Google DNS 2.2.2.2. .2 .2 .2. So let's jump in to the real game. I pinged both servers. They are up and running. These are two member servers. My domain is ny1.com. So here I am going to put small uh, pop-ups in here, showing you my uh, script as well. DNS replace.txt is the my uh, file basically I'm using as a variable where I have two servers placed. So IPs you can see under dollar new DNS equal. So those three IPs are the new IPs I am intending to change from existing IP addresses. So let's see my DNS replace .txt file. We just saw that we have two servers or two server names there. They both are up and running. So here you go into my first server which is ms3a i believe yes and here i have ip ending with 1.27 and 1.11 so i will go and replace these two ips with three ip addresses for dns using my powershell script so another server which is ms4 uh, yeah, this is a pop-up from a group policy. Just ignore that. So this is MS4, another server. I am going to ncpa.cpl to look at my network card properties. Here you can see my DNS current IP address, which is 1.10. Let me go and change. First, make sure that this is 1.10. All right, so I'm going to change 1.1.0. Then later on you will see I will change this address to 1.10. Then I will have a secondary address. Then I have another third address. So I am going to use my script now uh, from my domain. Domain host name is DC3 or FQDN or fully qualified domain name is DC3.ny1.com. So here is the way you can call the script that is saved under my scripts folder and I just ran the script and it successfully ran and changed the DNS server's IP addresses on ms3a and ms4a. So let's go and verify that and align my script together with the result. So here IPv4 address now I replaced with 192.168.1.10 my primary address and secondary is 1.1 to go online it is my router's IP address and 2.2.2.2 so DC3 is my server where I have placed these scripts A variable with txt and the script so it is not a shared folder a script folder is not shared let's go to c dollar so you can see now script folder 
all right so you have my txt file where i have my two server names and this is my script where i can show you what three addresses are so you can go to my website actually and can grab the script uh, if not so you can simply go to comptia 2020.weeblyly.com or emeer.weeblyly.com so that is where you can find the script so here you can see that whatever you see in the powershell script 1.10 1.1 2.2.2.2 2 .2 all three addresses are now here in my both servers so what we have done so far we have replaced our dns ip addresses remotely so now you can do this for one server i mean two servers or 2000 servers here also i have now three ip addresses 1.10 1.1 and the third one under advanced should be 2.2.2.2 so we have achieved successfully our goal and this is a part of my automation scripts and also a part of my powershell series scripts so keep watching my video if you have any question please put on comments or you can use my full name for my email address in ayatmeer02 at yahoo.com here once again i am showing you the script which was calling my both servers and this was the script this is the ip address and you can view here also the whole script you can pause and see until the end of the script it is very simple few codes here just watch them and you should be done okay so uh, any questions you have any comments you have just let me know so I will see you in my next video. Bye.